do you understand by, okay, now, well, let's see, you asked me a question, now that's the question, okay, you'll be ready for it. <laughs> what do you mean by first person? In English. I. Pani Nage is I. Then why is first person? Pani is, you are Pani? And then, why first person now? Why did you think that is first person? Six 
Nikiji, what is that? Nikitaya. 
Sanskrit script. You see the Sanskrit script and follow. Don't see the translation from the Paradana. Next, next person. Kimji.
Om Shur Pakharnaya Namaha. Oh, you're magnifying under you, okay. Ah, what? Shur. It's okay. Yeah, again? Om Shur Pakharnaya Namaha. Okay, next person, Rameshwati. Om Hirambaya Namaha. Shiltivari. Om Sit 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 Divi Sit Divi Najaka Janamaha. Again. Oh Sit Divi Najaka Janamaha. Again. Oh Sit Divi Najaka Janamaha. Again. Oh Sit Divi Najaka Janamaha. Gaja Karna Kaya. Gaja Karna Kaya. Gaja Karna Kaya. Om Gaja Karna Kaya. 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 G
one person is up, next person has come, line ends with that person. Similarly, Shabda is up, Pratya is added, therefore it, it's a Padam, ending with that Pratya, right? Sub Anta becomes Subanta. Clear? Sub Anta becomes Subanta. Uttarasti. Another name for Namapadam is Subanta. Don't ask me how Sub Anta becomes here. Akara becomes Ba, that is Sandhi. We have not learned that, so we will be learning that. Next to course. Now, Sub Anta becomes Subanta. Ach Anta becomes Ajanta. Hal Anta becomes Haranta. Clear? So, another name for Namapadam is Subanta Padam. Sub Anta Padam. The meaning is Padam is what? The technical name, meaning word. Padam ending with Sub Pratya. That is called Subanta Padam. General name is Nama Padam. Noun form. Clear? All of you. Any doubt in this? Yes or no? No. So this is Nama Padam, right? Fine. Then come in. Where is uh, Kriya Padam? Yes, sir? Okay, let it be there. We'll see. <laughs> so now Nama Padam is there. This is Nama Padam is what is here. This is what? Rama is what? Shabda. Shabda. And to the Shabda we have added the Pratyas. What Pratyas we don't know. Don't worry about it. Adding Pratyas to Rama Shabda we get these are what is that? What, what are these? Faces. Noun forms. Nama Padam. Right? How many Nama Padams are there? How many cases are there? Vibhaktayaha means cases. First case, second case, third case, fourth case, fifth case, sixth case, seventh case, eighth case, right? How many cases? Yes. How many? Vachanam? Yes. What is Vachanam mean? Numbers. Numbers. Singular, dual, plural. Eight cases, three Vachanam, therefore eight into three, twenty-four forms are there. Derived from what? Shabda. By adding what Pratyaya? Super. Is it same Pratyaya or different Pratyas? Different. If it's same Pratyaya, you will get the same form everywhere, right? Therefore, must be different Pratyas. How many Pratyas will be there? How many Pratyas? Okay. 24. Sub Pratyaya means, when I say Sub, means it's a collection of Pratyaya. Collection of Pratyas denoted by the short form Sub. Sub means don't think only Sub. No. Sub is a collection of pratyas, shortest, you know, uh, name representing the group of 24 pratyas called Supratya, added to the Shabda Rama. To the first case, singular, the corresponding pratya, which has this sense. What sense? First case, singular. That pratya is added, you get Rama. Right? Rama is what case? First case, right? And singular. That is what is given in this fire bracket. The numerator is what is there? First case. And the denominator is Vachana. The Shabda, listen to me. For Shabda, the numerator will be case. For Shabda, I mean, this is for the non forms, the numerator is case. Because for the Kriya Padam, it's different. That is person. You are going to see that. That's why we saw. For the noun forms, the number at the top, that is the numerator is, numerator denotes case. So, Ramaha is first case, singular. Ramabhyam is fifth case, dual. Ramana, sixth case, plural. Plural is denoted by, I mean, I have written three. Three means not three, more than two. Remember, Bhaguvachana means, plural means more than two. Not three, not three also, more than two, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, infinite. Anything more than 2 is called plural Bhagavachana. Clear? You understand this notation? Yes. Okay. So that is what is here. So, Pratamada Gakti, 3 Vachanams are there. Dutyada Gakti, 3 Vachanams are there. Tritiyada Gakti, 3 Vachanams are there. So therefore, we have got 8 into 3, 24. And uh, Shabda can be Pullinga, Strilinga, Nakumsakalinga. We saw that. And Rama is a Pullinga. Pullinga Akaranta. Ending with the letter A. Therefore, declension will be like this. If you know Rama Shabda, any 
Shankar on the Shabda, you can decline. Right? So, Rama Shabda, you memorize. That's one. Next one. This is about the Shabdas, right? Now this is about the, the Dhatu. That is, a, this is about the non-form. This is about verbal forms. What is the Sanskrit name for verbal form? Kriya Padam. Nama Padam, Kriya Padam. Both are Padam. Padam is a technical word, meaning, meaning word. Non-form, Nama Padam. Verbal form, Kriya Padam. How do you get Kriya Padam? Dhatu. Dhatu plus thing prataya. Okay, this is what? Thing. Not English thing. Thing. Thing prataya. Right? Like sup prataya, thing prataya are there. So dhatu meaning verbal root plus thing prataya you get? Kriya What does thing mean? Prataya. It's a prataya. Don't worry about what it is. Thing is a prataya. A group of prataya denoted by the short form thing. Like the group of pratya denoted by sup. Oh, and that's why it's at the end of uh, what? T. Yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> wow. What is that? Eureka, Eureka, discovered. Yeah, it's right, you're right. Oh. The first pratya is T, therefore you get patati. Okay. The second pratya in the group is taha, therefore patataha. The third pratya is anti, therefore patanti. You will come to that one by one, okay? Right, good. That's good. It's correct. You understood, right? Good. Wow. <laughs> Many times. Okay. We are talking about verbal forms, right? Verbal forms, there are, there are no cases. Don't confuse with cases and uh, the persons. Alexi, listen. Don't confuse with the cases of the noun forms and the persons of the Kriya form. Both are different. Clear? When you talk about verbal forms, Verb, verb means what action, right? Action is either you are doing, I am doing, or somebody else is doing. So first person, second person, third person. There are no cases to it. Even in English, the preposition, is it uh, attached to the action or to the noun? The book is on the table. What is the relationship between is and on? There is no on the table. The preposition on is connected to the table, right? I am going by train. I am going. Between going and and by there is it's not there is no connection. The preposition by is to the train. Okay. The same thing here. Yeah. Kriyapadam is there. When we talk about Kriyapadam, it has nothing to do with the preposition, nothing to do with the cases. That was a confusion yesterday, that's why I'm clearing it. So therefore here, when you talk about verbs, first person, second person, third person. And the action can be done by one person. Two person, more than two. Therefore, vachanam are there, three vachanam. Ek vachanam, dvi vachanam, bhagu vachanam. Singular, dual, plural. And how many persons? Persons is called purushaha in Sanskritam. Listen. Person is called purushaha. And the number is called vachanam. Purushaha, how many? Third person, second person, first person. Three persons. Three vachanam are there. Three person, three vachanam. How many forms will be there, verbal forms now? 3 into 3, 9 will be there. Clear? And now, important thing. Third person in English is called Pratama Purushaha in Sanskrit. Third person in English is called Pratama Purushaha in Sanskrit. If you literally translate Pratama Purusha with the first person, don't do that. You have to <laughs> make it very clear in your mind. Third, I use third person. When I say third person in English, it means first person in Sorry, it is Pratama Purusha in Sanskrit. Third person is Pratama Purusha. Second person is Madhyama Purusha. And uh, the first person, the speaker is Uttama Purusha. Sanskrit, the name for first person is Uttama Purusha. And three Vachanams are there. Therefore, three into three, nine. Let us take a simple verb, Patati, reads. Right? So, Patati. Patati is third person. I read, there will be a different verbal form, different Kriyapadam will be there. You read, different 
Priyapan will be there. We are not talking about first person or second person. We are not, sorry, I mean, we are not talking about uh, first, first person, second person. We are talking about third person. Right? We are talking about third person. So therefore, third person, how many vachanam are there? Three. So only this three, only you learn first. Later you will learn first person, second person. First, you will learn this. Taking, for example, pat dhatu, patati, patati reads. Who reads? Somebody. Ramaha reads, Krishnaha reads, Acharya reads, Chatraha reads. Right? So, this patati. Here, the numerator is three, is the third person. It's a third person. And the denominator is vachana. So, third person, singular, patati. Patataha, third person, dual. Patanti, third person, plural. So, when I say pat, then you can say patati, patataha, patanti. Patati is third person, singular. Patataha, third person, dual. Patanti, third person, plural. Similarly, ka, to eat. Kadati, kadataha, kadataha, kadanti. Okay, you can repeat after me. Patati, patataha, patanti. Kadati, Kadataha, Kadanti, Kadati, Kadataha, Kadanti, Speak, Vadati, Vadataha, Vadanti, Vadati, Vadataha, Vadanti, Repeat, Rat, Ratati, Ratataha, Ratanti, Ratati, Ratataha, Ratanti, Dhav, to jump, to run, Dhavati, Dhavataha, Dhavanti, Dhavati, Dhavataha, Dhavanti. Now, I will say a verbal root, you tell me, lick. Right. Creed to play. Creed to play. to see. Pashya. Guts to go. Clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Now you can do the homework. Now I'll give some. Some uh, third person names. Now you have to form sentences. Right? Like this example, I give Chatra. Five more minutes, okay, I will do it. <laughs> Chatra is a. Okay, I will write a homework here, you can copy later. I will write some a noun base here. You have to use appropriate noun form. Understand? Chatra is a noun base. Chatraha Patati. Chatra, two students. Patataha. Chatraha Patanti. Okay, I'll give the homework in the afternoon. We'll stop here, right? I'll explain what it is. I'll explain how to do it. Yeah. But, uh, uh, can you say Okay, we'll stop here. Then time is down there. Okay. Then you can ask me. Oh.